Hello, I recently came across this nice little day to night toggle and I had to see how it was made. So it's using a checkbox input and a label and I couldn't understand at first why there are so many elements inside this label. So you can see there are two Unicode stars right there and then I looked at the CSS. So the way uh, that uh, star is made is there is um, this white circle and on top of it there are the two Unicode stars. One of them rotated so let me show you because it becomes a bit more clear if we change the colors a bit. So uh, color uh, blue. As you can see they're both layered on top of that uh, circle to get uh, that star with many spikes look and with a disc in the middle. Now what I'll be showing you today is how to do this with a single label element, no children inside it. So we have an input um, time and of course this is also a checkbox input. So checkbox uh, and we have a label for this input for time. Is it night or not? Okay, so this is it for the markup. Let's move on to the CSS. We're going to have a diameter for the moon and for that star. Uh, let's say 2.5 ends. We're going to have a padding around uh, everything. Uh, and we're going to have a gap between uh, the left side and the right side. Now, for our label, actually, let's do it like this. Um, we set display grid. Um, we set a grid gap. Uh, which is that padding in between rows and the gap in between columns. Uh, then we have before and uh, after. We set them to that uh, diameter, so the width is equal to it and the height is equal to the same value. Uh, we give them a dummy background and we also set content because otherwise we're not going to see anything. Okay. Now, we're going to have some separate styles for the before, the separate styles for the after. Uh, so, let's see about that. After, sorry. Um, so, here I want to set a grid column. It's going to be on the second column. Uh, something else I want to do on the body. Also set a, a grid layout. Um, grid. Place content center. Um, um, make it full height and let's also give it a background silver. Okay, now I can just uh, collapse the body, uh, set a height right here, and it's going to be equal to that uh, diameter. Uh, let's also set the body and okay. Um, let's set a background just so that so we can see stuff for now. Uh, let's set a border radius. Um, it's going to be half that diameter plus the padding. This should look good. Okay, that's good. Um, something else I want to do here is border radius 50% because I want to uh, and let's have that background white. Okay. Uh, so let's get rid of that uh, night. So um, transparent user select none. Something else I want to do is transition and uh, cursor pointer. Okay, so um, yeah, this is starting to look like something. Now, the shape of this star, I'm going to create it with the mixin um, I've coded in a video yesterday, and that's going to be linked in the description, and you can check that one out. But here, I'll just uh, be including the mixin. So, um, include star 10 points. Um, Something like this. Okay, it looks nice. Um, now here, 
for the background I want to set something like HSL 200 max out the saturation um, and go midway with the lightness so I'm going to have something like that and here I want to set uh, so a switch custom property and it's complementary which is going to be uh, calc 1 minus i okay um, and now that I've done this if this uh, input if the time input is checked um, then I switch i to 1 okay now having done this I'm going to uh, use that right here so I have something like this um, let's delete this uh, and here let's set uh, HSL 16 max out 50% so just uh, like that now if I click it you notice the background changes okay now something else I want to do is uh, transform origin let's use some round numbers um, if we need to tweak them later um, translate and here I'll be having calc um, use i times 100% plus the gap in between okay so now something else I want to do here is transition inherit now having done this you can see it moves from one side to the other and here I also want to add another transform a scale which is again the calc 1 minus uh, i times 0.7 um, ok so now as you can see it moves like that um, this is for the before now for the after here I actually want to have a radial gradient so radial gradient circle at let's also say 20% 20% um, as I said, we start with nice round numbers, and if we need to tweak them further, we do. Um, so, transparent, 40%, uh, 0. Okay, um, transform, um, translate y. So this is going to be again something very similar. Uh, I times um, now it's going to be minus 100 because we go up in the opposite direction um, of uh, the positive of the plus of the y axis. Um, minus the padding here. Okay, so this okay, this does it. Now something else I want to add here is overflow hidden so um, I don't see the mean when it goes out uh, and here I want to set position absolute uh, right okay like this sorry about that Yes. Uh, um. Okay. So yeah, this pretty much does it. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do so by getting me something off my Amazon wish list. There will be links in the description below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.